double this up now. Same uh, 100 beats per second. One, two, ready, and... And if you're looking, my thumb is hitting the bass. Sixth, sixth, fifth, fourth. It's pretty simple. You're going to be missing strings and blowing chunks a little bit at first. Keep, keep with it though, because what you're going to find is you're going to want to strum that bass note for every chord that you're playing to define it. Sixth, sixth, fifth, fourth. And the rest of it is just the same hand going up and down. G, E minor, A minor, D7. Kind of boring. You want to get really good at these. And you'll find out why later. I've got a pair of suspenders on right now, so I left my tie on. Because when I took my tie off, I looked like little Abner. <laughs> so, but I don't want my pants to fall down. So, so I'm not trying to be formal. Now let's just hit the bass strings. Six, six, five, four, six, six, five, four, six up down, up six up down, up five up down, up four up down, up six up down, up five six <laughs> five up down. You know what I mean. G, E minor, A minor, D seven, six. Those aren't the numbers of the chords through the scale, those are the strings I'm playing. The number of the chords are 1, 6, 2, 5. Because in the key of G, G is 1, E is 6, A is 4, 2, and D is 5. I can't talk and play at the same time, so I don't know why. 1, 6, 2, and 5. G, E minor, A minor, D7. So that's your practice companion B in the in the first in the key of G lesson two. I can't talk and talk at the same time. All right, so go on to practice companion C if you're set with this, and uh, we'll see you there.